Hi guys, I am Katie or Kiwi Does Art, and today we're going to be modeling a fork. Um, I haven't done this before, so um, stick with me. <laughs> we'll uh, we're we're along this ride together. So go ahead, and we're going to be in the modeling menu set, and click on a cube, and then let's go ahead and edit some dimensions. So click on Polycube One in the Attribute Editor, and I'm going to change some of my dimensions here. Um, you can kind of follow along, or you can give it. Um, whatever dimensions you want to, you know, try and be as accurate. You want to kind of try and get to the box shape of a cube um, that is going to be for our fork. So, you know, try and make it logical. Like, don't make it like obviously a hundred or something divisions, but just kind of go for whatever you want. This is what I'm going to use. Uh, totally feel free to follow along. Um, all right. So for a fork, there's a couple things that I want to just set into place first. Um, I want to get the prongs on the fork done first. So I'm thinking what we're going to do is select these guys and then we're going to extrude and um, just like up that thickness to maybe like 0.7 maybe and then I'm going to offset it in to also 0.07 maybe like that. All right, and then we're gonna follow that same thing for each of these guys. So control E, offset, do the same thickness to, let's see, we did 0.7, I think, 0 0.07, 0 0.7, yeah. And then offset was 0.07. All right, and then do the same thing for this one, 0.7. 0.07 and last one extrude thickness to 0.7 and offset to 0.07 all right so now we've got the three prongs and um, we'll be editing those a bit later but I just want to get them in place for us so that we have them um, all right so what I'm thinking is that this kind of like front half, maybe like that much, will be um, the actual fork, and then this bottom half will be the handle. So select those vertices, click R, and we're gonna scale them in a bit, and then you can scale them up a tad if you would like as well, like that. All right, and then for this section, it's a couple things we're gonna do. Um, I wanna go ahead and select all these top faces and you can just hold tab while you're selecting and drag and then go ahead and do control or command e to um, extrude and then offset them in a little bit not a ton that should be good a really small amount is good and then you can click w and just push them in just a tad that kind of gives it like a nice little lip to it um forks don't have a ton of a lip so that should be good all right, and then next thing I do want to do is um, I want to select these vertices that are right here and I'm going to bring them down a bit. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to do control B and just bevel them. Should give it a little bit more detail in some areas. No, I don't want to do that. Okay, so that should be fine. And then I'm going to go ahead and select these three vertices right here. And you can just push them down a little bit to make that little divot. All right, and then I'm gonna select this bottom half of vertices and I'm gonna just push them up a tad just to make our fork a little bit smaller. Um, and then I'm gonna select this part of the handle. I'm gonna push these guys up. Um, oh, actually, I wanna take this one too. There you go. So push those guys up and push them over like that just so it gives it a little more detail on it. Looks pretty good. And then you can go through and just select um, 
some vertices and give it a little bit of detail. Making them, um, I'm kind of making them more like a spork shape, which is fine. Um, but if you guys want to make it something different, you know, go for it. It's totally up to you. Um, also, um, click one and three to switch between this like smooth and this um, more polygon effect. Next thing we're going to do is bevel these edges out. So you're going to want to select these edges. Uh, you can just select them all. And then do control B. Uh, maybe give it like two segments or so. And you can increase the fraction. You can also increase like the segments and stuff if you find that it's not going the way that you want. <laughs> um, okay, sweet. All right, next thing I want to do is um, go ahead and select these vertices. Oh, don't forget the ones on the back. And I'm actually just going to bring them in a bit just to bring those prongs in a tad bit more. Maybe like that. Select this row of vertices and drag it in. And then you can select this row of vertices and bring it in as well. And then I'm going to scale this row out a little bit. Just give it a little bit of detail. You can do the same with these guys. All right, I'm feeling like the top of mine is a little too wide, so I'm just going to select it all and then scale it in. And you can shrink it too if you need to and kind of move around as needed. Alright, let's go ahead and look at that. Um, Alright, that looks pretty good. So that's kind of the, the basics of your fork. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, but that's kind of Kind of a quick tutorial to have just like a really easy fork, obviously not detailed or anything, but if you just need one to sit on a table somewhere, um, it's pretty clear, pretty easy, low polygon, um, all that fun stuff. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, uh, don't be afraid to leave a comment below or email me or anything like that. And um, I will see you guys next time when we are finishing up the rest of our um, silverware set. Bye guys.